Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, day three in the studio build here. So off camera, I decided to get the rest of the floor in here. And then what I've done is I've got some, some acoustical, acoustical silicone stuff and I just sealed up all the gaps around the whole thing. So the whole floor is done, nice and floating and springing. Now, next thing I'm going to start working on today is getting this perimeter wall done. Maybe the start of that one and then get this one done. So it's going to be about a two foot wall there. Uh, now, I also did some calculations. That's why my speaker stands are here. Uh, I built these. I'll do a video on these sometime in the future. They've got like nice little LEDs in there. I'll, I'll do a little video of how I built them. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get to cutting some wood on the chop saw, get everything two foot around on this front perimeter, and go from there. All right, so I got all my my little joists for the two foot wall all cut, and then what I've done is I've uh, I believe that's called pocket screwing in. A uh, nice little jig there that just does this for you. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do. Screw them every 24, starting at that end, and then I'll go from that end, and we'll touch base once I get you there. Right, so about to put the last one in this wall in, um, but what do you want to do? Um, well, what I ended up doing is I had to do some measurements. And originally I was going to go off this wall, but I'm deciding to go off this wall because on that edge out there, say this was the outside edge, that's going to be technically the 18 foot wall. Um, so what I did is I've gone in an extra two by four. Also because I've got this joist here. I needed just a touch more clearance to make the two foot and then the board that's going to go up this way um, be able to fit. Um, so that's why this piece is here. So I'm going to have to cut these pieces custom custom length. Uh, once I get this in here, this next board, last board. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm taking an extra one, just making sure that it fits nice and square onto this piece right here, and then I'll screw it in. Uh, it's important to just keep it nice and square. So it's gonna be right about there. I'll go ahead, take that out and screw it in. And then I'll figure out the height for these ones. Uh, I totally forgot we gotta cut those ones a custom height. Uh, just cause we are up just that, looks about like half an inch or so just because I ended up putting this directly on top of the plywood, whereas this is on the one by six. So yeah, we'll get that last one in and cut these ones a little shorter. There's only going to be one, two, three, four across there, because I'm going to leave this open for the nice window and it shouldn't, 
shouldn't alter the acoustics too much. Uh, if it does, I can make it work with some treatment or maybe a studio window. I'll figure it out from there. All right, so the second sidewall is in there. So I've got two, two of them in. Uh, it's getting kind of dark out, so as always, that means I'm going to take this up on tomorrow. All right, day four of the build. I'm going to keep doing the walls here. Uh, another bright sunny day outside. Zero complaints on the weather right now. Good time for building, even though it is midwinter. So yeah, going to keep on going. Run my boards on top here, finish all the framing in that back side. And then hopefully, hopefully today we'll get into the triangle cross pieces. The roof choice there. I'm going down from that wall to the other wall. That might be a little bit difficult. We're going to get into some fun angles, especially in the corner here, because we're going to have to kind of follow this up to the peak. Um, yeah, and try and make it as straight as possible. So that might be a little challenging. All right, two walls framed. What I think I'm going to do next is uh, sort out the triangles up to here. All right, so lining this up good is going to be pretty tricky. Now, my game plan is what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up doing a two by four. So this is the back wall. It's going to come up flat like this, run up there, and that's going to be the front of the wall. But what I want to do with the two by four beside that, which is our joists, is run that beside it. Now, if you look, it's going to line up almost a perfect two by four width of the joist going up there. So what I've done is, is I've cut two chunks and I'm going to secure them hanging down up there. Figure out my distance from the top of this to the bottom of the joist there, so right in between there. And then when I go to attach the two by four that's running along this way at top there, I'll copy that measurement. And then that way I know everything will be symmetrical and right in the center. I'm gonna use the laser level because what my plan is, lay one of these flat, mark it out, go to the other side, do the same thing. And then when I have the laser up there, I'll be able to see exactly where everything lines up because technically the end of the board, the two by four that's running length way, uh, that'll be the exact end of the board. So I'll know I have something to measure off of. All right, so <laughs> that was a pretty difficult task for one person. As you can see, got this two and a half inches down from there. That's gonna be the same as the top of the two by four to there. Kind of got it clamped in with two screws. So that's going to be the ledger board. And this is where you can get a uh, two by four up from the angle there, connect it up, get all our, our angles cut and everything, and then just kind of mass produce these pieces and then chop all the angles I need on each end of the two by fours. And then I'll get to securing this together. Okay, so about four hours has gone by and what I've had to do is kind of brainstorm how I'm going to do this so I have some nice ceiling height and everything. And what I've elected to do is, so I've kind of got a little a little jig here, so to say. Um, so I've cut all my angles on that end that are going to end up on this wall. As you can see, it's nice and flush into there. And then you come up the board. Now this one's not cut quite yet. 
but I've got a line right there and then a line on the other one and that's almost exactly eight inches in between so what I'm going to do is once I've already pre-cut all those um, once I cut this there's going to be eight inch piece of two by four going in between these two and then before I like bring these up so to say I'm going to screw screw two screws into the two by four there same on the other side and then what I'll do is, is I'll kind of have it built here and then I'll kind of like lift it up into into its place there so yeah that took that took about eight hours um joisted tunes are complex uh, since I got all those cut I'm gonna actually call this a day and we'll take this up on what is it we're going into day day five now but now that all those are cut should be smooth sailings all right day five of the studio build um finally gonna get these up all the joist along there uh get us started for the day i'm just gonna cut some some of the little uh eight inch pieces i need to go in between here uh technically it's seven and seven eighths minus is what i need um yeah but i'm gonna get those cuts and get them all screwed together like i said i'm gonna go one at a time flip them up and then i'll have a nice nice roof line like that i think that should work good oh and then the plan is too uh once i get the eight inch on top of here i'm gonna do a one by six on top, screw down or screw up into it, just so it kind of helps with the stability this way and that way. But anyways, yeah, let's uh, get to some cutting. So another thing I kind of want to touch base on is what I did to get uh, the nice angles there. Um, ended up just cutting little templates here, and then you can just place them on the board, mark them with a pencil, get your angle cut or angle set up with the saw. So I got two of them. Made sure I labeled them in case I need some more. Um, so what I'm going to do is because I have to cut the two pieces that are up there that were up there. I'm just going to mark it off, get the angle set on the saw, and cut those. And there you have it. Angle on there, angle on there. And now what I'm gonna do is just screw this right into there. Do the same on the other side. Flip it up and then screw it into the wall there. All right, so a tool review of the day. Uh, this here step ladder is uh, absolutely perfect for kind of holding everything together once I get it screwed in. Uh, so I give this step stool a 10 out of 10. It's almost the perfect height as well. Um, but yeah, so what I'm doing now, just gonna figure out the best way to attach this. I might get some long screws going or I might go diagonal in. Uh, I'm just gonna give it a little think and see what the best way is and uh, we'll go from there. Right, got the first one in. It's looking good. Uh, so I ended up at the bottom there, screwed two in, and then at the top there, I ended up doing one four inch this way, one four inch this way, 
and then a three inch and a three inch and then tied it in the same way there and I ended up putting the board at the top. I elected to do this because I can put the one by six to hold it all together coming this way and put the insulation right on top. So that will be a lot easier in the long run. So yeah, I'm gonna get all these ones done up here and then touch base with you all. All right, so I got all these studs up. It's looking good. Looking down the straight of it, it's almost, it's almost perfectly straight, which is exactly what I'm going for. It's looking really good. So once I get to up in here, this is where I'm gonna have to go just off 24 off center. And then what I'm gonna do is copy the same lines they're doing this way, build this wall, um, and line everything up as good as I can. This is gonna be a little bit of a tricky part because we've got a few more angles going on, um, but it should work out okay. Um, so that's probably gonna be a tomorrow job because I gotta go and pick up some OSB, move some OSB, and that's gonna take a bit of time. Um, get some more supplies that I need, a couple of more 10 footers that I need. Just need two more 10 foots. Uh, still got quite a few 2x4s. Should be just enough to finish everything I'm hoping to finish. Because uh, price of lumber right now is kind of ridiculous. It's gone up like 200% or something like this. Uh, even like these floor, these 5x8 tongue and grooves, they are going for $70 a piece. Now, luckily managed to get them... What was this? This must have been two years ago before COVID, managed to get them for a good cheap price other than two sheets. Um, so budget-wise, this has been not too bad. Been pretty good on the budget. Hopefully, hopefully the sound reflects not a cheap budget, but a good, good clean sound in the room. So yeah, we'll take this up tomorrow and go from there.